I get asked all the time, how do you plan your content and what's the deal with all your post-its? So today, I'm gonna be planning my quarter two content and everything that I wanna get done in quarter two, so I figured, why not vlog it? And I'm also doing something a little different that I've never, never done before. I'm also gonna be doing it live on Instagram. So kind of like a Truman style video where, anyone remember that show? Where people can just kind of watch me plan my content, so we'll see how this goes. Hi, my name is Trina and welcome to my channel. Here on this channel, I help creative business owners like you get on YouTube to grow. Grow your business, grow your email list, whatever parts of your business you're really looking to grow. And today, I'm gonna to be walking you through how I get that set up. So I'm going to be doing this live on Instagram, like I said earlier, and this is the setup that I have going on. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I have some cords plugged in, propped up by a blanket, because I've gotta have the phone plugged in. Let's see how this goes. So one of the first things that I've gotta to do to plan is get my post-its out. I bought this treasure box of post-its a couple years ago on Black Friday. And the reason why I use post-its is because I'm a visual person. And I'm gonna take everything that I put on this wall and map out into Trello, but until I have it all mapped out to see, am I putting too much on my plate? Can I not get this done? How many steps is this gonna take? Until I can really figure out what's going to work for this particular quarter without overloading my schedule, I've gotta see it visually on um, the wall first. <laughs> things I did was I wrote down the different categories that I'm going to be focusing on. So potentially upgrading some opt-ins, um, my video strategy for YouTube publicity. So are there publications or podcasts that I want to pitch? My email strategy. So this includes funnels um, and newsletters. My Facebook strategy. So uh, what are my lives going to look like? How many times am I going to go live? What's my group Facebook, my Facebook group strategy going to look like just so that I have this all mapped up. And then clients, so what clients do I have right now? What projects do they have in quarter two? And also, what am I working on for YouTube bootcamp in this quarter? So I'm gonna put these up on the wall and I'm also going to turn on my live. All right, so we are now live on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. I'm also vlogging this from my YouTube channel, so it's kind of like video on video. But in this live, I'm gonna show you how I plan for quarter two. So it's basically like a Truman style video where you just can kind of watch me plan for quarter two and how I do it with all my post-its. That's so many of you wonder about my post-its. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the vlogging camera down for right now and get you up to speed on what I've done so far. As I'm also going live on Instagram, talking to Erica and uh, the other girls that are on live, I've got my post-it set up. So this is how I broke it down. I have videos first because this kind of defines my entire strategy for the month is my videos. Those are the points, the peaks, the top of the pyramids of all of my content that then filter down into the other things. So then I have opt-ins and Facebook strategy and so forth. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these littler post-its and these are gonna be the little steps that I have to do to get them done. Or for videos, they're gonna be the different video ideas that I currently have so I can figure out where these videos fit in my strategy based on all these other things as well. So do I need to move my videos to like the end of the month? Do I need to move them to maybe May to better fit into my quarter two strategy? Just so I can get a better idea and start moving things where they fit better. Um, here on Instagram, we still have some people who are watching me vlog as well. So I just told them I've been thinking about video series to do because I'm planning to upload every single day of the week. So Monday through Friday is a goal of mine to reach by the end of quarter two. And to do that, I'm thinking of different series, which I already talked to Instagram about. One of the series I'm thinking about doing is a Fry Diary, which is what this video is. It's basically a vlog of what I did that week. So this week for me is all about content strategy and closing the doors on YouTube Bootcamp. 
I'm also thinking of an interview series with some creative entrepreneurs, a business series, obviously a YouTube series, and kind of a motivational lifestyle series. I haven't really mapped that one out yet, but that's what I'm thinking. So instead of alienating more of Instagram, I'm gonna tell them what I'm doing next, and I will update you on the next days as soon as we get that up. The first thing I wanna map out is video ideas, okay? The red guy right there. And the reason why is it's the hub of my content. So while I go throughout my days and I think of video ideas, I keep them on a Trello board under a brain dump list. Or if I'm going through YouTube, and I see a thumbnail that I like or a video idea that I like, I take a screenshot, add the card, so that I have a constant supply of video ideas. So this is what it looks like. And yes, I do have soundproofing blankets on the floor right now. They're not actual soundproofing blankets, they're just blankets. So this is my Trello board for my YouTube and these are all the ideas that I have thought about, seen, or liked. And yes, there is some Amy Landino because um, who doesn't want to be Amy when you grow up? So I'm going to go through here and see if any of these particular videos fit into my strategy for the upcoming quarter and see which ones I can do. All right, it's time for a check-in. It's been, I think, about an hour, and I've got the next five weeks of my YouTube strategy mapped out, and it's five videos, five days a week. That's 25 video ideas, so this is what it's looking like now, and what I like about this is these are the playlist titles and these are the videos. Um, playlist strategy is really important because knowing what the keyword in your playlist is gonna be, you gonna make sure you're incorporating that in your video ideas or your video titles as well. So right now, we've got all of our video ideas mapped out. Um, I've got to just script those and do a little bit more research, but I was doing research as I thought of them. This is my little workstation down here. Let's, yes, I had some lunch, which was cereal. I've got my computer and some tunes and my Erin Condren planner because I need a um, bigger, look at dates. So since we're planning for three months at a time, I need a bigger look at dates. And I also added another section over here. This is like others that popped into my head, some things that I've been thinking about doing, and I wanna see if I can fit those in anywhere. Um, one of the things is a passive product, which I'm really looking at incorporating more, hopefully, in quarter two. And I'm really excited about this because me and my brand designer, Elia, um, have been, talking about this passive product and we are in love with it and I hope I can get to it. So now I wanna break down the opt-ins that I wanna create for this upcoming quarter because these could potentially lead into a launch depending on if we launch in quarter two. So now I'm gonna break down all the steps I've got to do for that. Here's a little update of where we are at. Let me zoom in on that. There you go. Let me walk you through opt-ins. So, um, I have a whole thing of opt-ins here. And the reason why I'm updating my opt-ins is I haven't done an opt-in update in a long time. And I actually wanna test out three different opt-ins. So we're gonna be testing this out starting in April. One is gonna be just an easy download. One is going to be a video series. And the third one is still a surprise. And with that, I just wanna see what worked, what people are more interested in. I can also segment them, my the people that sign up for these, in a way that I can retarget them in email um, strategy. So when you talk to certain people, you wanna use different keywords and different pain points that they have. So these three different opt-ins kind of hit different areas. And so that's why I have this opt-in strategy for quarter two because I really wanna grow my list in quarter two. I have a goal of doubling my email subscribers in quarter two. And um, so that's what these little stickies are. And then these are all like the little um, tasks, whoops, that I gotta do. And they're the same tasks the whole way across the board. So when I add these into Trello, I know that um, those are the same, that's just the checklist I've got to dupl duplicate. And then I also got finished with my Facebook and my group strategy. I really want to engage my group just a little bit more and have a weekly show on in my group and on my page. It's not difficult for me to get online. And I've learned that Facebook likes live video, but it doesn't have to be long. And so if I can give any quick tips, 
or just an information to continue to build that authority and also grab the people who are watching my video views as a measure of engagement so then I can retarget them with Facebook ads. So that's why I'm using more of a Facebook strategy um, for quarter two, just so I can better target my Facebook ads and that'll make my ads cheaper as well.